All right, everyone. We'll, we'll give, a, give a few seconds for some people to join us here at the circus. That's right. We are at the circus. Check it out. Oh, let me get my fingers out of the way. That would help. Wow. This is really cool. This is in the Edison Mall parking lot. All right. And this is Circus Lena. This is really, really neat. Look how high up she is. She's like 25, 30 feet up. We've been here all morning and we have had such a great time here. We'll wait for a few more people to join us and then we'll talk about how you can be a part of this awesome circus that is located right here in downtown Fort Myers. We are right at the Edison Mall, right along US 41. And it looks like uh, still getting a few more people watching. Normally I would be telling you what the weather forecast is gonna be, but I learned that, you know what? This is a little more fun, right? No, it, it sure looks fun to me. I couldn't be up there, no way. All right, now we're gonna interview the founders of Circus Lena right now. So let's switch the camera. This is Jessica and Leonardo. So, Hi, everybody. So I, I, I'm hoping that the volume is uh, pretty good on this. <laughs> can you just tell us how you got started in the circus industry? And, and you can be as thorough as you'd like because I know you're very passionate about what you do, and it really yeah. shows. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're, we're so excited to be here in Fort Myers. We want to invite everybody to come and see us. I'm a fifth generation circus performer. And so my, my mother, my father, my brothers, everybody has been part of the circus for many, many years. Um, I married my husband, Leo, he's from Cuba. Uh, Hello. He joined the circus at the National Cuban Circus School in Cuba. And we've joined together to bring Circus Lena here to everybody in Fort Myers. So, so you two pretty much, you met at the circus and it was love at first jump? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically? Yes, yes, exactly. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna switch this camera and, and, and show the performers and and, uh, and and you two can still continue to talk. Now, Leonardo, you yes. came, you came over here from Cuba. What what are some of the differences that you've seen in maybe uh, the circus that some of us think are non traditional and versus this traditional? Circus. Uh, well, uh, the difference uh, really in the way we perform, the way uh, we we bring our art to the people. Uh, we not uh, uh, do only show. It's a show for the whole family, so everybody on the family can come here and have fun with us. It's not limited to anyone. And actually, we have really good uh, circus performers, traditional acts like hand balance, skating, the trampoline. Yeah, you can see the jugglers yeah. over there in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you've been here, what, for about a week or so? Oh, look, look at that. They're on roller skates. They're on roller skates in the middle. No, there's... So, in this circus, there's no animals. No, it's no not animals at circus. all with this show. This is your traditional circus where you have the acts, you have the talents, and, I mean, I love it. This, this, this is great. Yeah, I invite everybody to come here to the Big Top and you know help us save the tradition of circus that's right because you know circus we were talking a little bit earlier that you know the circus sometimes uh, uh, it takes a bad name you know and it, but but it's not it, it's not that way and it's still alive and well and people like you that are really really traditional and really passionate about this keep this alive Yes, yes, that's that's how we try to keep it, try to uh, save history, try to teach people a little bit about circus, uh, try to uh, make people want to come to the circus again, have fun, and, and see the circus is much more than animals and stuff like that. Now, tell us a little bit about the uh, social distancing guidelines. Uh, well, yes, like um, we, the original seating capacity for the circus is 890 people, but we go down to 300, so that way we can have uh, uh, the right space in between seating areas for the families to be safe. And, and, I, and I'm going to show, I'm just going to take a, a, a short walk around, and, and you see, like the pods of, if you have a family of four, here you go, and then we've got six feet, and then we've got another family of four. And maybe there's, maybe there's two people here, and there's six feet, and there's four, and now there's three people here. So you can see that, that 
this is this is very socially distant, and you know masks are required um, for everybody that comes in, and uh, there's hand sanitizing stations all over. Here's one, for example, right here. And wait a minute, wait a minute, who's this? Hey, you were just you were just up on the ceiling. What's going on? Oh, oh, and I hope you didn't jump from up there. Hopefully, they lowered you. Okay, so so tell us a little bit about, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you in there with the performers in the background. So so tell us a little bit now, you're a performer. How did you get started with all this? And what is your act? What is it called? Because I know I said, well, she's kind of spinning on a ring, and I mean that, that, that's not necessarily the best techno, uh, you know, the best wording I should say. Uh, well, I guess it's a very young child. I, I, I'm from the region normal, Illinois, where Gamma Phi Circus one of the only two that So you were a Disney princess, right? I was friends with a fish. But that's <laughs> so you were a mermaid? No, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so you worked at Disney, I get it. Yes, and I saw, I saw Ariel Clark being done there, and so I started studying it, and so I started studying Spanish well, and Ariel Clark was Spanish, and I just went to love it. And you just walked into the circus and said, hey, you know what? I can spin from 50 feet up in the air. And they gave you an audition and you were in, right? <laughs> is, is, is that how that worked? Oh, yeah. Circus family here. Everything's family friendly. Everybody, the whole family comes and enjoys. We are a family. So we welcome Yeah, it, it, it definitely seems like it. And uh, like I said, you know, you guys are having a lot of fun here. And it, like, you know, look at these performers. These are, you know, these two are on roller skates. Have you done anything with the roller skating or are you more... You don't want to be on the ground. You'd rather just be way up in the air, right? Is that how it works? I do, I do actually work on the steer wheel, but I'm not, I don't have an athlete yet. But uh, <laughs> if I try to juggle her, I do hula hoops. I'm okay, really okay. Now, now, come on, guys, on the trampoline. Start, start. Let's see how high you can jump. Let's see how high you can jump on that trampoline. Look at that. I would probably fall on my face. And now, I mean, if I ever tried to flip on a trampoline like that, I would definitely try. I, I, I would be in big trouble. Look at that. He's almost at the top. He's almost at the top of the tent. Okay, juggler. Juggler. Let, now look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I could juggle maybe two balls if I was really, really lucky. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm not sure what this is called. I, I think this is a balancing act. I need to get, I need to get a, a better light here. Okay, go, go ahead. Show, show us the balancing act. Wow. I think I saw something like this on America's Got Talent. I really did. Look at that. Wow, now that takes a lot of strength. Okay, and right next to him, the roller skaters. Here we go. Now, this definitely takes a lot of talent. So, all these, these performances you can see tonight... Tonight, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday again on our website, fox4now.com. It will link you to Circus Lena and their website. And again, you'll be able to see their acts. And you know what? I have got an act. Let me show you my act, okay? There we go. Let me get my fingers out of the way. You see, you see this hammer here? Wait a minute. Hold on a sec. Let's flip this camera around. You see this big hammer? This big hammer weighs 100 pounds, okay? I was told it weighs 105 pounds. But we're gonna, we're, we're gonna call it, here, do me a favor. Yeah, hold that, okay? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> is, is it face the right way? Okay, now it's right, face the right way. <laughs> you gotta go like this, you gotta go like this. Right. You gotta take it, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. <laughs> Look at this. Yay! Oh, no. You're hired. hired. You're hired. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Don't try this at home. All right. All right. Woo. Okay, now you got to get your hands in the air. Okay. Okay. But let me let, let let's switch this over. But if you guys want to come out here to the Edison Mall this evening, again, Circus Lena, it's going to be a great show. It was a great show this morning, and it wasn't even the real show. 
Yeah. The real show starts at 7 o'clock. Fox4Down.com. I'm a little bit out of breath with that 100-pound hammer. We're going to sign off for now. And by the way, the weather's going to be a little bit cooler, just in case you're wondering about a weather forecast. But it'll be warmer next week. All right, everybody. Fox 4 Meteorologist Eric Stone signing out from Fort Myers at the Edison Mall, Lena Circus. Circus Lena. Awesome show, guys. Come and check it out.